guys welcome back to our channel uh, if you haven't watched us before then you should know that last week we brought home six newborn baby day old ducklings and they are stinking cute and adorable well it's been let's see it's been a week and a day as of the time this video is being recorded and I thought you guys might like an update on their size how they're doing kind of a uh, what we've been doing with them, changes we've made. Anyway, enough of me prattling on. You guys want to see the ducklings. I've got this lid on the bin so that peanut pie kind of leaves them alone. Look how big they're getting. Hi, guys. Just for comparison, see him in my hand here. He, he fits my whole hand now. Hi guys. I say he, I, I don't know what they are yet. But why are you doing the nibbles? You do the nibbles, yeah. Let's see. Maybe I should change There's some green stuff. Ooh, yeah. I've got their uh, first swim video up and posted. If you guys want to see that, that was adorable. Oh my gosh. I've let them for a couple more swims since then, and they've actually I filled the water a little higher, and they've actually like paddled themselves more and like dipped in the water. Oh, they're so cute! I can't believe how big they're getting. It's only been a week, and they've I'd say about doubled in size, even since just the other day. I mean, gosh, they're finally starting to eat like a regular amount of food. At first, I was worried because they weren't really eating their food, but. They're eating now. I actually have to fill the feeder up every day and they go through water like crazy. I'm not sure how much water they're drinking and how much of it they're just splashing out, but uh, that's that. <laughs> We've settled on a pretty good system for their food and water so far. We've got the water there with the mason jar water and we've got the food in here. I don't have the jar on top right now because they're just not eating enough to be worth it. Uh, and that made it harder to refill. So they've got those in a little tray, which helps keep some of the water contained in there. And then a couple times a day, I'll just dump out the tray when it gets to be full. It's getting about now I need to dump it out again. And then I just spray off all the gunk in the backyard. And then uh, I've got towels down. I've got pine shavings under there. We actually got a thing of pine shavings, but they keep eating it and I can't get them to stop and I don't want them to get impacted crops, so I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. Maybe it's something they'll just grow out of as they get older, but for now I've got the towels down on top, and I uh, change the towel about once a day, and then I just put it through this, I shake it out outside, put it through the silk cycle. I've got a bunch of them that I rotate, and Peanut here is still every bit as interested as she was day one. I think we've decided that we don't think they're food, but we think they might be toys. So she wants to play with them, but that would involve still using her mouth, which I don't think would end well, judging how she plays with her toys. So we keep a distance. Cammy doesn't get to play with the ducks. There we go. Hi. Is she hi? Oh, Pam's saying hi. Hello. Yeah, no licky. <laughs> as far as the smell, it hasn't been too bad. Uh, as long as we change the towel out and their, and their tray out regularly, it's not too bad. And of course, I mean, we only have six of them, so it's not like we're brooding 20 of them in the living room, but <laughs> the, the six isn't too bad. And then I give them a bath every couple days, help give them a, a deep flush and a deep clean. Yeah, hi. And I cuddle them when I can, but peanut pie is too interested oh does that taste good yeah is too interested in them so i don't like i can't let them run out on the floor while she's around so one of these days i'll just put her outside in the yard for a while hello and let these ones uh play inside and explore a little bit but we're not quite at that point they get chilled pretty quickly still so they need to stay under their heat lamp look how big they are remember when Cody was holding them, and it was just like babies. Look, hi. <laughs> and now they're fit, I have to use two hands. 
They're so cute. There, we've got them all situated. See, and they just chill with us. Hi. Yeah, they just chill. So this is how I can kind of cuddle them without Pam getting too involved. But anyway, that's pretty much all that's new. I mean, other than having to remember to make sure their water is full and their food is full before we leave for the afternoon. They're pretty low maintenance, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's about all it's changed in a week. Ah, that tickles. Hello. <laughs> don't jump, don't jump. Okay. Yeah, but that's about it. Pam, don't eat the ducks. That's about it. <laughs> ah! Hello. Shh, I don't mean to yell in your ear. I'm sorry. Hi. Hello. You're not gonna let me finish this vlog, are you? Pam, leave the duckling alone. I want to end with the duckling in my hand, but I can't if you try to eat it. Knock it off. <laughs> I have to wrap this up. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Pam, don't eat.